What is this thing I bought? It's the what, roasted kinako. It looks like roasted kinako. What do they normally put on it? Um, that looks I can't like remember. Like no, I can't remember what sort of sauce they put on it, but it's some sort of traditional flavour. I can't remember what it was. I'll probably look it it's up quite a, easily. It's a dark, heavy sauce, that's all I know. Yeah, so how does that turn into a coffee? How does that turn into a iced coffee? Well, I'm assuming that it's going to taste thick as hell. It's so strange. It's not thick. It still tastes like coffee. Does it taste sweet? Oh, all oh, the flavour's hiding at the bottom. It does have that roasted kanako flavour. Do you think you were meant to shake it up? Or... Mm. I did shake it up. Oh, I, shake, I did shake it up first. It doesn't taste actually too different from their regular iced coffees. The flavour's subtle, which I think is probably quite good. Well, if you put kinako flavour in anything, it's going to be quite noticeable. So maybe well, yeah, because they do that kinako chocolate, don't they? The little dusted uh, mochi. Can uh, I cook yeah. treats you can buy? Okay, it's not as horrendous as I thought it was going to be. I mean, I've had about what 15 different flavors of this thing <laughs> over the past three, four years. It's well, traditional and it's, it's not horrendous. If you say it's not horrendous, would you actually actively buy it? Though? I would, yeah. It's, it's different, but it's not so different that you should be scared of it. Like a sort of morning coffee, or I would have that. Oh no, that sort of thing is like, for me, that's kind of like a dinner time thing. A dinner time coffee. Yeah. Yeah, they do, they do exist. For not being as bad as I thought. <laughs> seven, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. For not being horrendous. For not being disgusting and weird. So, for being um, kinako and still being yeah. drinkable. For being subtle, for not being mean to us. Alright. Okay. <laughs>